My name is Khalid Kosser, and I want to talk with you about a big challenge that's on a lot of people's minds these days. Around the world, we continue to see terrorist attacks by groups like ISIS, Al-Shabaab, Boko Haram, and the individuals they inspire. How does this end? How can we prevent people from embracing violent extremism so that we're not constantly worrying about the emergence of new threats? Well, there's no simple answer. Communities and governments must work together to address the inequality, injustice, insecurity, and other grievances that can make people, especially marginalized young men and women, vulnerable to the propaganda and ideologies of violent extremists. There are so many resources out there for communities looking to protect themselves, and I'd like to share just a few of them with you. The organization I lead, the Global Community Engagement and Resilience Fund, or GSURF, is putting communities in the driver's seat by funding locally driven initiatives in Africa, Asia, the Western Balkans, and soon in other regions too. As we strengthen local groups, we're also working with governments to give civil society a real voice in policy discussions about preventing violent extremism. If you're a young person, check out organizations like the Youth Civil Activism Network, or YouthCAN, Viral Peace, and the Against Violent Extremism Network to learn how you can make a difference. We need your energy, your fresh ideas, and your voice. If you're a parent or teacher, check out the Teacher's Guide on the Prevention of Violent Extremism, published by UNESCO, and learn how to talk with young people about violent extremism. If you're a mayor or local leader, encourage your community to join the Strong Cities Network and draw on the experiences of cities and towns around the world building community resilience to violent extremism in all its forms. If you're a researcher, join the Resolve Network to connect with people working on the ground to illuminate and understand the specific local drivers of violent extremism and to identify solutions. Regardless of who you are, we all need to challenge in classrooms, at the dinner table, and at places of worship, bigotry, intolerance, and hateful ideologies that create divisions, exploit injustice, and lure vulnerable men and women to commit acts of violence. There's so much that communities can do, but governments also have a major role to play against violent extremism, and not just in providing security from existing threats. How governments treat their citizens can make a huge difference. When governments reject corruption, respect human rights, empower women and girls, and ensure security and basic services for all, it makes it much harder for violent extremists to recruit new followers with false promises of a better deal. The UN's plan of action to prevent violent extremism provides over 70 practical recommendations for government action. We need a broader approach, with governments and communities working hand in hand, if we are to reduce the threat from violent extremism now and for generations to come. Thank you.